I want to share how the new Stations by Standards series fits in with the guided math curriculum. So for each grade level, K, 1, 2, and 3, you will find the guided math series, which is broken down into nine different math strands, and Stations by Standard that correspond to those nine different math strands. So for this particular example, I'm using kindergarten numbers 11 to 20, and for this guided math series, you will now have 15 stations that cover that particular standard. So I went ahead and prepped mine in this scrapbooking box and I'm going to take a look inside with you. I've opened the box and inside I have prepped all 15 stations into gallon sized Ziploc bags. One tip I have for printing is that you can click each one of the 15 game cover pages. These have the game directions and a picture of the game in play and then print them at 80%. I like to do that because then when you laminate them, they fit nicely on the Ziploc bag and they also fit nicely if you're throwing them in a math tub or a bin. I just love how it looks. Um, nice and small and cute or you can go ahead and print them at full size and laminate and it's the exact same thing It's just not quite small enough to fit on a ziplock. So that's just my little Printing tip for the day. So here is a look at the different games included in the set called 11 to 20 in the stations by standard There are 15 games for each one so that the idea here is that after you've taught the whole group lesson and you're teaching that small group lesson, the rest of your students who are out in stations, this is going to support that learning. And you can spiral these in throughout the year or you can do them all at the same time that you're teaching that concept. It's totally up to you and your teaching style. Let's take a peek inside kindergarten numbers 11 to 20 for guided math. I went ahead and took out three lessons just to give you an idea of what the lesson flow is like. So you've got your lesson plan for each day and there are 19 days. You can choose to do all of them in that order, uh, 1 through 19, or you can pick and choose if you don't have that long to spend on a concept. And then to wrap up the unit, there is a unit assessment ready to go for you. So here is a look at day one. You've got your essential question, your lesson objective, and then your whole group lesson. For this particular lesson, you will read Bean's book with the students, which takes them through counting the beans with the target number of beans that you're teaching. Then you've got your lesson discussion questions, which you will use as you read that book, and then your materials list, and everything there is included. From your whole group lesson, you'll move into your small group lesson and it'll give you an activity to do with a small group as well as some differentiation ideas. So let's take a look. You've got your 20 frames that you're introducing and then you would use either the red and white bean counters, which would be preferred, or even actual lima beans, something nice and big for the students to grip. Or um, if you're like me and you don't have any of those things on hand because you're at home, you can use counters any counters that you want so that's it oh and also there's always an included independent practice activity to check for that understanding as well let's take a look at day four this is lesson four or again you can teach these out of order or skip around if you need to for your particular scope and sequence but on day four students are working with the numbers 11 12, 13, 14, and 15, and we're building that number sense. We're continuing to grow from day one and all the way through day 19 in this unit. So students will be looking at different number representations and building it on their own. They will also have a printable to help you with how well they are understanding the concept when they do that either as guided practice or as independent practice. If you've been wanting something to help you stay on track and to teach those standards day by day, lesson by lesson, all throughout your school year, I hope that this can help you. It comes in kindergarten 
first, second, and third grades, and you can find it in my Teachers Pay Teacher shop, Reagan Tunstall, or on my blog, tunstallsteachingtidbits.com.